ए हाई हेलो वेलकम बैक टू मैनी वीडियो दिस संपत्ति वाचिंग संपत् सैमफिक्स यूट्यूब झानल अंड दिस पोको एक्स थ्री एन एफ सी कस्टम रोम रिव्यूज बैक वित् अनदर न्यू वीडियो गैस लैट मी गोइंग टू सैटिंग्स ऐक्चुअली एंड रिगार्डिंग अबउट सैक्शन एंड एंड्रॉइड वर्षन फोर्टीन यू गैस कैन सी द जन बेबी लॉन वर्षन यू गैस कैन सी सारी हेलीकॉन सूर्य यूजर डी बग फोर्टीन वर्षन एंड ट्वेंटी फोर लेटेस्ट अपडेट दिस इज वित् फेब्रवरी फिफ्थ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर सैकंड पैच Android version is 14 here. You guys can check out. Kernel is just 4.14.36 Silver Wolf version 2 kernel, and this is March 26th latest build available for Poco X3. And this is typical home screen what we can get, and these are the quick settings toggles what I arranged in the edit section. There are some other. If you want to add them, you can add. There is no sync option. that you need to keep in mind and uh, regarding the uh, quick settings toggles this how it looks like and here auto brightness brightness toggle is also given you will also see the uh, app active status from here and if i go into app tour these are the apps i'm currently using fm radio is pre installed here regarding this uh, app drawer you get all these apps i'm using currently and camera application is nx camera with leica integrated here it is hyperes kind of camera i mean hyperes built camera you get all the necessary features here in the more options also you get all these options and the video mode you get up to 4k 30 no 60 here let's check in the wide angle video 4k yeah that's 4k 30 is available here all the features are working fine here even audio zoom is also working fine in this particular rom and this of the home screen and apps what i have and so let's see the results of app results what i got here uh, starting with we'll start with this only charging rapid i mean 33 watt charging support is available in this particular rom and this is the 92 benchmark results i'm using version 10.2.4 updated version and 1.9 degrees celsius is the temperature raise and 5 percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing on this poco x of the this helicon os guys and this is the geekbench result 755 is the single score and multi score is 1885 and links 4.14.336 silver wolf kernel has been used that's version 2 and version 14 and i'm using geekbench version 6.2.2 these are the read write speed test with numericals and this is graphical interpretation and this is the drm information you will get that our dynamic refresh rate and hdr support is given here l1 certified as you can see and play store is getting certified and this basic integrity and cts profile match is the safety net status getting pass hence you can use all the payment applications those are going to work fine this is atel fiber 200 mps plan i'm getting around 220 mbps no problem regarding that mobile internet connection is also working fine 4g plus everything is fine dual stereo speakers are working fine let's see under the hood in the settings what all the things we get this how simple settings panel what you can get in the battery settings again you get battery usage you can see here from 10 am to now it's around 11:45 am now and i haven't charged that much anyhow battery usage you can check out just i plugged in and took the screenshot of charging rapidly battery saver you get all these options status bar battery indicator you get some options here battery percentage you can hide or keep it inside the icon and battery widget you will get it regarding sound and vibration again individual options you can increase or decrease from here and this all the things smart pause option is also given you can check out the time mode and media player you can enable all this necessary settings and that's it here there is no direct sound settings inside the sound and vibration and in the display settings again you get screen time out option and screen attention which is new thing and dark thing again you don't get any pitch black condition here at least let's see elsewhere any option is available colors you get all the three options auto rotate screen is given minimum maximum refresh rate you can customize between 60 and 120 and screen saver options are given here you can check out and full screen apps and traffic indicator are given working fine no need to worry regarding these things and accessibility menu again you get all the necessary options here flash notification new one and accessibility menu without actually using the physical buttons you can actually toggle the volume and other handy features you can definitely try it out regarding the security and display you get both fingerprint unlock and face unlock 
and app lock is also pre-installed here let me show you the fingerprint unlock first and followed by the face unlock it's quite fast and accurate using this particular room you can unlock your smartphone very quickly and faster and regarding into settings you get some options here like show me parts you get direct sound settings you can select the headphone type and preset and select the smart scene that's okay and clear speaker option is also given kcal this customization you can actually check out but this lcd features just don't use that if you keep it high images and if you start playing bgm kind of games the battery life will be uh, degraded and in this summers the battery and the smartphone get very much hotter don't use this options i recommend not to use that para refresh rate is given individual apps you can select the refresh rate uh, limit and thermal profiles also given you can select what uh, profile it is what general it is going to haptic feedback strength level is given here under the xiaomi parts and again gestures option you get navigation gestures here you don't get any extra options it is quite simple just they have added some xiaomi parts here in the system apart from that everything remains same the ui is uh, quite good here i can't say it's fast than evolution x or something like that but it still holds up its level here it's really really good in my opinion you can definitely try it out let's see bgm how it actually handles in this room you guys can check out the graphic settings you get just here smooth plus ultra only nothing so great this is new mode here Let me decrease the volume. This is how volume panel looks like. Too much load here. Oh, you can exit from here. Let's try this granite. This is new mode, guys. Okay, we'll come back here. This is the gaming experience. It was actually fine in this particular room. You can definitely try it out as a dial drive, but it is 40 FPS the gameplay and other settings are quite good. You can check out the battery life at the start of the video, how much currently, how much you can get an estimation of battery life. 
device is getting a little bit warm now in the summers if you play continuously the busy kind of games busy kind of games you will do some bad life and thermal efficiency here anyhow we get here a uh, dialer with video call support and call recording is also available but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call this is how the uh, new os are available for poco x slash nfc guy is if you have any specific questions regarding this particular room comment down in the comment section and if you're still not join the whatsapp group join the whatsapp group and firmware what used in this particular room while flashing and what is the flashing method and whatsapp group and social media links everything is in the description check out description and this is sampath signing off we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keep smiling bye bye for now